Assalamu alaikum students. How are you all? I wish so fine. Today our topic is electricity and magnetism. Electricity is a type of energy and magnetism is a force that attracts or repels any other objects. Now we will learn about these two terms in elaboration. Electricity Electricity is a flow of current. It flows in the insulated wires. Insulated wires would be those in which electric current could not pass. It is a movement of electrons. Electrons are inside atoms. Now student question will come into your mind. What sort of movement? What type of movement? Movement would be same in the same direction. Millions of electrons will jump and as a result of it, spark light will produce when they'll jump from their atom to next atom and that is how the electricity will produce as electrons revolve around their atom. Electromagnet it is a type of magnet in which magnetic field is produced by electric current. Now what is magnetic field? Magnetic field is a force of attraction or repulsion that attracts any other magnet towards it. It is an invisible field. You can see in the diagram around a coil here nail it acts as a coil around which a wire is wrapped and connected to the two terminals of the battery and giving a complete diagram of electromagnet that is how in the home student you could make an electromagnet you could use a cell or a battery and then with a nail and with a coil you could make an electromagnet of your own now static electricity, it is also a form of energy. It is produced by rubbing two objects. Like if you rub your two hands, there would be heat in your palms. And that is how the electricity will be produced. Rubbing is friction. You can see in the diagram, the hair of the girl, they are like in the straight erected form whenever you rub your hair with a comb and then you'll keep rubbing them and as a result there would be a spark there would be electricity produced in it because of the movement of electrons and that is how your hairs will be erect it is transferred from one object to another like from comb, it will electrons will transfer to your hair. Electrical conductors. These are the objects that allow electricity to pass through them. Examples could be tree, copper, aluminium. Other than that, humans are also examples of conductors because Water is also a conductor and human body contains 70% of the water. That is why humans are also considered as conductors. Insulators. Objects that do not allow electricity to pass through them are called electrical insulators. Examples could be plastic, rubber and glass. You could see the rubber gloves, the plastic comb, and the glass. Now, how electricity reach to your home? Electricity reach to our homes by three processes. First one would be generation. As we are aware, look in the diagram, electricity is made at the power stations. Then, 
it is then transferred transmission in the second point transmission it is transferred through these lines to where it is needed here in the second in the transmission level the electricity is very high the voltage would be very high so it is reduced to the point where it is needed in our to the point or to the voltage where it is needed otherwise there would be a great spark or there would could be a burning so to avoid such mishap therefore electricity is brought or reduced to its level then distribution it is then distributed to and sends to its final destination from substations now if you'll see in the diagrams in the power plant electricity is generated and then it's transformed from by the transmission process in the form of lines and then again uh, from the voltage process it is distributed to your homes offices so in short students three process gtd you could say gtd short form or generation transmission distribution are three process by which electricity could reach to your homes i hope students the concept is quite clear and you are you'll be able to solve the questions and the worksheets that have been given to you on your official website good luck allah hafiz take care of yourself